You've used Google or some other search engine to find something online at some point, but did you know hackers, both good and bad, also have a search engine? It's called Shodan. It allows them to find devices and other things connected to the internet. Originally built as one person's project to see connected devices, Shodan has since become a major tool in the hacking and security community to find vulnerable devices. It crawls the internet looking for devices and categorizes and classifies them and allows you to search for them. You can see I've issued a query that says ATZ Executive. You're going to find a list of a particular model of red light camera. We're going to take one of them and we're going to see what we can find out about it. What Shodan does is provides us some, an IP address, some location information and other attributes about the device. This is a license plate recognition technology feature. It's also important to identify this part right here, which is basic VES with no security. This is really one of the things that people are worried about. People are deploying and plugging in things into the internet, oftentimes with little to no security. And connecting anything to the internet, webcams, home security systems, or traffic enforcement cameras means other people can find it, and in some cases take control. Now there's a details link that if we click and open up the details link, we can see that it's in New Orleans and also get some latitude and longitude information. Let's just go to Google, plug in the lat long, and you can see it is identifying an intersection and cross street that is in New Orleans. Neither the Transportation Department of New Orleans nor Louisiana would claim ownership of this camera. Industrial giant 3M bought the camera manufacturer last year and they told us they are confident in the security of their units. 3M also said they have not had reports of any hacking. The units contain many security features like password protection and data encryption and it is up to the purchaser to implement these features. And it's not just enforcement cameras that are connected. One of the things you have to think about is, is it a good idea that a lot of these systems are being connected to the internet. Should an environmental system in a data center or other location be connected to the internet, in particular with limited security that allows virtually anyone to modify the settings or change them. So here you can see we're logged and viewing, uh, again, another web server that is built into this particular type of system. You can also see down here on the left, we not only have environmental controls, but also security. If this was an organization that had some information I wanted to destroy or disrupt, uh, one of the things I could do is disable these controls so they got really hot and potentially burn out a rack of servers or destroy information in order to accomplish my goal. So there's serious danger in not securing these devices beyond privacy concerns. As we start to connect things like our home and cars to the internet, Fitterman recommends taking time to sh make sure that the devices have security measures in place to protect you. When you put something online, there will be people crawling for it and looking for it. Understand that it's a much flatter world now that we're all connected, for better or worse, and to just think of those implications when you put your car online.